Hello interwebs, nice to see you again. Today we're doing a bit of an unboxing of this thing. This is Ron from Friday Fish Packs. You're watching Aquarium Adventures. So I stopped at my local fish store, local-ish fish store today and found this in the bargain bin. It's the ISTA CO2 diffuser set and um, the water plant system. So if you've been watching any of my videos the last few months or this year, you'll have noticed I've been getting more and more into plants. So 2018 for me has been the year of learning more about plants and how to grow them in the aquarium. Um, and the latest tank that we've set up is this one, which is the pea puffer tank. So at the moment it's just three pea puffers and some cherry shrimp. And they're getting on okay at the moment. Um, but the plants are starting to get a little bit of black beard algae and some other algae issues so I've not got the balance quite right between the fertilizers and the light uh, and any of the other nutrients and um, so I wanted to have a go at CO2 now my plan was to get a proper DIY kit going but I found this in the bargain basement and it was only four pounds five pounds possibly um, so I thought we'll give it a go and hopefully one day we'll have a playlist of all the different types of CO2 kits that you can get and how they work and how they perform um, because it, to me it's not necessarily about how cheap it is, it's how good it is um, go the, grow the best plants the quickest but if it's a faff to use then I'm not going to be interested so we'll try this one out and see how we got on so to open the box inside we've got some um, silicon tubing, so that's like your airline, which is not as thick as some of the airline I've seen before, but it's thicker than regular airline. So that looks fine. We have a check valve, a check valve, and it's got a little arrow on it to show you what way the flow is meant to go. We have a can of CO2, which, to be honest, feels empty. This food feels like a dead can. It's got stuff in it. I'm just wondering whether or not that's why it's in the bargain basement, or the bargain bin. But we'll see. The, these are cheap as chips. I think you can get them off eBay for um, something like five pound. Gets you five five refill cans. This is never going to be the most efficient way to run CO two in your aquarium, but I just thought I'd try it. Out. And then the last thing in the box is the CO two diffuser, which is this thing. So it's not like your lily pipes and uh, ceramic plates where it's diffusing. I think the idea of this is essentially connect the CO2, get the airline, airline goes in here, this sits in your tank, you fill this chamber with CO2 and then over time it slowly dilutes into the, the water column. Um, I mean it all feels sturdy enough, it's got a couple of suckers, yay suckers. Everybody loves some suckers. So you have have your diffuser, airline on the top, other end connected to the can, a check valve in the middle, and that's pretty much it. It's a really simple form of um, using CO2 in your aquarium. It doesn't get much simpler than that. It's not the most efficient system in the world. Um, it did say something about ratings on here for uh, small aquariums, um, but this this design here, it's got this little bit here, so when this is full, you can buy extra ones of these, so you can have multiple diffusers. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, it's not brilliant, it doesn't look horrible or anything, so you could have a few of these in your tank if your tank is a bit bigger or your plants were demanding more CO2. So. Let's try and get it all set up. So make sure your little arrow on the check valve, you've got that going the right way. So you've got the right end going into the diffuser. 
and then just pop it in the tank. So I'll just set it up quickly for now. Um, you can see how it should be done, but if you place it under some, a place where you get good water movements, good circulation, maybe a power head, um, I've got the spray bar as you can see on this tank. And yeah, that gives fairly decent water movement, so that should be good enough. It's never going to be the most efficient way to get CO2 in anyway, so I'm not all that bothered about it. It should just give us a bit of a boost. So I'll stick this in just so you can see it for now. Sucker cups, as always, never going to be brilliant. Then we get the can. And we attach the can. So in theory, that's it now. From what I've been able to read on the internet, because there's not much in the way of instructions, unless you're a little more fluent in Japanese or Taiwanese or Chinese, whatever that is, than I am. There is a fantastic video online from the guys that make this. The it's the ISTA uh, team. I'll, I'll put in a, a little bit of that because it made me laugh earlier. 現在為各位介紹簡易CO2供應組的組裝方式。在溶解器的背面接上吸盤。溶解器上方進氣孔接上風管。But anyway, you essentially you just press the button, fill this up and you get about 24 hours worth of um, CO2. So the diffuser itself has got this little stopper at the top and what you do is you take that off and it fills with water. Replace the stopper and then you crank on your can. This is where we find out whether it's actually got any CO2 in it or not. Crank on that until it fills up. And then the water drops. You know when you've got to the bottom because some bubbles come out the side. And that, in its simplest form, is that. Um, that's all there is to it. And now we let that sit in there and eventually that will dissolve into the aquarium. And hopefully we'll see a bit of better growth and a little bit less of the algae. That little nubbin that you saw the bubbles come out of, that's where you would add a second one to uh, if it was any good uh, and you wanted to expand on it. You can buy them separately. So we've got at least a day's worth out of it. Um, obviously I can't tell right away how that's going because it's going to take a lot longer than 10 seconds to figure out whether or not it's any good. But I can't see any immediate leaks anywhere. I can't see it falling out. So we'll come back in a few hours and see if it's moved any. So I've had it in there a couple of hours now, I don't know how well you can see that down there, but the, the level has risen maybe an inch and a half. Um, so it's certainly doing a job, how well a job it's doing I don't know yet obviously. Come back in a month and hopefully we'll have a new video to show you how well it's been doing. So it's never going to be the best, it's probably the worst way of getting CO2 into your aquarium, but it is really easy. Essentially, have to come along, press this button once a day. I'm told this should last a month from research. Um, again, depending on the size of your tank, but for my tank, it should last a month. Whether this is truly this empty uh, and it just lasts a day, I don't know, but again, the refills are pretty cheap. Um, so, that's, that's the one cheap, simple way to do it. It's not going to be the cheapest in the long run but it's cheap and easy, I guess that's what we want to do. So if it gets any kind of results, it's probably going to be good enough for a lot of people. And it'll probably be good enough for me in this tank. So there you go, it's pretty anticlimactical as far as videos go, because you're not going to see any instant results, and you wouldn't expect to see any. But, like I say, it was easy to install, it's going to be easy to use. It is relying on my memory, so if that's a concern for you as it is for me, then you might want to look it into... Uh, a proper CO2 tank with some kind of regulator and a solenoid so you can automate it with a timer. But for what that is, it should be good. So hope that was of some use to some of you. Uh, and if you want to see what happens in a month's time or three months down the line, by all means click that subscribe button and then you won't miss any update videos we do. 
I try and get one video out a week and I get one live stream a week so come along and ask me some questions in there if you want to uh, otherwise thank you for watching so far and I'll catch you next time bye bye at the moment it's just three people so if you've been watching any of my videos videos and I thought this is kind of fitting in with a series I want to do where I look at all the Thank you.